Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Arctic Bird Giant. Our story opens at the Shady Rest Hotel, where Clutch and company have taken a room. And in room 12 of the Shady Rest Hotel, Clutch and company are busy writing another chapter in his logbook about their last adventure. This quiet hotel is made to order for writing, Spinner, after what we've been through. I'll say, Clutch, and Paddlefoot is almost rested up. Uh, oh. Mush! Quiet! Mush! Mush! Number 12, Clutch Cargo and Company's room. I'll get it, Spinner. Oh, why, why, it's my old friend Snowshoe Slednik. Oogalooga, Clutch Cargo. Oogalooga to you, Snowshoe. Come on in. Spinner, I want you to meet Snowshoe Slednik and his dog, Snowball. You've heard me speak of them. Yeah, I've always wanted to meet you, Mr. Snowshoe. Do you really have days and nights that are six months long, Mr. Snowshoe? Oogalooga. What does Oogalooga mean, Mr. Snowshoe? Later, Spinner. What's all the excitement, Snowshoe? What brings you so far from the North Pole? Much, much trouble, Clutch Cargo. Our old friend, Captain Low Tide, who once saved my life in big, bad danger. His plans for giant igloo housing project with TV in every igloo have gone poof. His big ships are frozen solid in ice. Big mysterious bird giant after him. Sounds like the same bird giant I wrote about in my Arctic adventure book. This doesn't sound good. We'd better hurry. Not a moment to lose. Step on the driver. Clutch and company, anxious to help Snowshoe solve the Arctic mystery, arrive at the airport to begin their northern flight. Almost loaded, Spinner. All aboard, everybody. But where's Mr. Snowshoe? He... He's disappeared. Uh-oh. And his dog's missing, too. It's Paddlefoot. He's, he's telling us something. Snowshoe, he's over this way. Follow Paddlefoot. He's got the scent. He knows where Snowshoe is. An ice cream truck? What are you stopping here for, Paddlefoot? We haven't got time. Yeah, time's a wasting, Paddlefoot. Snowshoe. And Snowball, what are you two doing in there? Too much excitement for Snowball and me. We crawl inside this igloo to cool off. If we're going to save Captain Lotide, we've got to get moving. Come on, fellas, back to the plane. Gee, I hope all your igloos up north have ice cream cones like these, Mr. Snowshoe. Yum, yum. You fellas are going to get cooled off soon enough. Temperature dropping fast. Time to put on your Arctic clothes. Oh, very good joke on you, Clutch Cargo. Snowball and me never take ours off. We never take chances. Weather getting rough. Hang on to your hats. Oh, oh, oh. Your plane worse than my sled on mountain peaks, Clutch Cargo. Hey, it's snowing. Oh, we got to mush ahead to save Captain Lotai. Engines icing up. We've got to fly lower for warmer air. Clutch, look, look ahead. Iceberg! Can Clutch and company avoid hitting that mountain of ice? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and company with Snowshoe Slednik and his dog were on their way by plane to solve the mystery of the Arctic bird giant who had been stealing Captain Low Tide's cargo. All was going well when suddenly... Hang on. We're going to thread a needle with an airplane. Yo! Whew. You made it, Clutch. Phew. Ice cubes, anybody? How come, Clutch Cargo? Flying through iceberg make you so hot. <laughs> Getting deep into Arctic territory, fellas. It won't be long now before we see the real land of the midnight sun. Uber, Uber, Snowball and me keep eyes open. We know we home when we see pole. Pole? 
You mean the North Pole, Mr. Snowshoe? <laughs> no, totem pole. That landmark. Captain Low Tide, not too many snow drifts away. Our home very happy until me, no bird giant, frighten everybody away. Seems to me that bird giant really gets around. Keep a sharp lookout for him. There, totem pole, clutch cargo. We home, we home. Oh. Oh, boy, look at that snow. Where's my skis? There's your totem pole, Snowshoe. Oh, no, no. Ah! Oh. oh, boy, snow feels so good. Sled's almost loaded. I'm going to try my skis. Just one spinner. We've got to hurry. Don't know how long Captain Low Tide can hold out. I won't be long, Clutch. I just want to see if they work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that paddle foot. He funny city dog. He think totem pole alive. <laughs> he arctic tender foot. <laughs> that totem pole been here forever. One more thing to put on the sled and we'll start for Captain Low Tide's ship. Snowshoe, call Spinner. Spinner! Spinner! You come back now. We got a must fast. Gonna save Captain Low Tide. Come on, Spinner. Whee! This is great. Clutch cargo. Help, help. Bird tracks. Giant bird tracks. Steady, Snowshoe. Steady, boy. By golly, they are giant bird tracks. And they lead right up to the totem pole. They come from over that hill. Wolf. Maybe we better follow them. We gotta follow them, Spinner. They go through avalanche country right to Captain Low Tide. Clutch and company, knowing that Captain Low Tide is in grave danger and in need of their help, hurriedly tie down their plane to protect it against the cold north wind and continue their journey. Something very strange has been watching their every move. Look, bird feet, giant bird feet. Only very short distance now to Captain Low Tide's ship. Good. I hope everything's all right. Hey, what's that rumbling noise? Uh-oh. Right above Clutch and his pals, the bird giant is starting the Arctic's most feared killer, a snow slide. Look out, everybody! Avalanche! Can Clutch and company survive being buried under tons of ice and snow? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Arctic Bird Giant. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and Company started across the frozen North Country by dog sled. A deafening roar developed. Looking up, they saw tons of snow and ice tumbling down upon them. Wow, if it wasn't for that rock ledge, we'd be goners. I wonder if that avalanche was an accident or on purpose. Well, can't let a little thing like an avalanche stop us. Mush! Look, Clutch. Somebody's sitting on the snow up there. I'll ski on ahead and ask him if he's seen Captain Low Tide. Oh, pardon me, sir. Have you seen... Whoops. Pardon me, sir. What did he say, Spinner? What did he say? Mm. He didn't know. Everybody stay close now. We're here. Look, there's the ship. Harpoon. Look, Snowshoe's got a gun. Oh, don't worry. Captain Low Tide, give me this for signal. That you, Snowshoe? Ooga looga, Captain. I bring friends of yours. Clutch Cargo, Little Spinner, and City Dog Paddlefoot. Thought you'd never get here. Hurry aboard. There's no time left. We're coming, Captain Low Tide. Lower the ladder. Clutch, boy. 
I was never so happy to see anyone in my life. Oh, if only you could have gotten here sooner. There now, Captain. Don't give up. Oh, I'm not giving up. Though I must admit my friendly penguin, Tuxedo, and I have just about had it. Tuxedo and Snowshoe are certainly a comfort to me. And Tuxedo, <laughs> he's my guard. Ah! It's that bird giant clutch. Little by little, my cargo of precious gold and valuable furs has been stolen. And whenever anything has disappeared, the snow around here has been covered with bird tracks. Giant bird tracks. Bird tracks? Giant bird tracks? Oh, me much afraid. Steady, Snowshoe. Don't go to pieces now. We need you, boy. I will try. Clutch cargo. I've got an idea for a trap. We'll catch that bird giant tonight, and he'll never bother you and Captain Low Tide again. Oga Loga! But first, we'll, we'll raise this cargo net and we'll swing it over the railing in front of the ladder. Now, I'll hop over the side of your ship, and there, the net's flat on the ground, and I'll just cover it with snow. There isn't a man or beast who'll get past that without setting off the alarm. Well, let's not stand around here and freeze. Come on into my cabin for a rest. I'll take the upper bunk clutch. You sleep down here. The boys can have the hammock. <laughs> it looks like they already got the idea. The bird giant! We've got him! We've got the bird giant! How will Clutch and Company deal with the dangerous bird giant? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the Arctic Bird Giant. Do you remember last time Clutch Cargo and Company arrived at Captain Low Tide's ship? Clutch set a trap to catch the dangerous bird giant. Realizing how tired they were after their journey, they had just settled down for a sleep, when without warning... Come on, everybody. On deck. We've caught the bird giant. Bird giant? What? Quick, off the floor, fellas. This way to the bird trap. Follow me. I'll turn off the whistles. You grab him with a gaffin hook clutch. I'll swing the net over to the rail. Drop him on deck. I'll fix that mean old bird giant. Me put salt on his tail. Pull off the net, boys. Let's see what this critter looks like. It's a bird, all right. But it's Tuxedo. Look, there goes the real bird giant. The pesky critter's carrying away more of my stuff. He must have thrown Tuxedo into the trap. There he goes. Come on, gang. We'll follow his tracks. He won't get away this time. I'll stay here with my ship like a good captain should. Paddlefoot's got the scent. Go get him, boy. Paddlefoot can't lose those tracks. They're a yard wide. Mush. Tracks have stopped. No wonder. That's hard ice. Uh oh. What's this? An ice bridge. The bird giant probably crossed it. Oh my! Me very much afraid to cross ice bridge. If we take it real easy, Snowshoe, it ought to hold. 
That's not what scared me. But on the other side of bridge is giant bird land. I can't stop now. Step lightly. These ice bridges shatter like glass. Ooh, me wish me back in cabin by stove. Me afraid. Oh my gosh. Who was that? Steady. Easy does not Just ice pressure. The bird giant! The bird giant! The bird giant! He's throwing iceberg at us! We're in for it, men. Hang on! <laughs> Can Clutch Cargo possibly find a way to save them? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Arctic Bird Giant. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and company had left the ship and had begun to follow the bird giant. His tracks took them to an ice bridge. As they started to cross... We're picking up speed! Only thing to do is to ride it like a toboggan. Sit tight! We're gonna make the loop! Really hit hard. Everybody okay? I think I'm okay, Clutch. Good. Dig yourselves out and let's get along. Follow those tracks, Paddlefoot. That bird giant isn't too far ahead. Here's the spot where he belted us with that iceberg. And his tracks lead deeper into giant birdland. Better march on. Deeper and deeper into giant birdland go Clutch and company. Finally, he went over behind that snowdrift. Yes, and his tracks lead right into that old abandoned mine. What a perfect place for a hideout. Shh, be careful. You can't tell what's inside. Gosh, look at the giant icicle. Move carefully. A loud noise might drop them on our heads like a thousand daggers. Oh, my, you look funny through ice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you should see yourself. Wow! If you fellas don't stop that noise, we'll have the whole ceiling down on us. Clutch! Look! No giant bird, but look at all this stuff. Golly! He must live here! This all Captain Low Tide stuff. We take it back to ship. Oh, no you don't. That stuff all belongs to me now. That's mine, all mine. You look like a bird, but you talk like a man. I've known all along you were a phony fur bird. Oh, maybe, but I don't fool around. One step closer, and I pop this paper bag. Pop that bag, and it'll bring a ton of icicles down on us. That's the idea. I'm protected. You're in the line of fire. Oh, curses. Saved by a wet bag. Look out, Clutch. He's got a pointed icicle. Uh -huh. No, I get you. Glad I had commando training. Oh, you think so? Uh -huh. I know so. Bird giant, eh? No wonder he was so tall. Oh, he's wearing bird feet still. Pull that phony bird's head off, boys. Let's see who our fine feathered friend really is. Why, it's Pierre a moose. Him biggest thief in Arctic. <laughs> over, over. Me see Captain Low Tide ship. Look. That's her, all right. I'm sure the captain will be glad to see us. Oh, hi there, Clutch Cargo! Did you catch the bird giant? A bird giant turned out to be Pierre Lamousse, the most dangerous criminal in the frozen north. Bah! He won't scare or harm anyone else. We'll put him away for a long time. Bless you, Clutch and Spinner. Now that I have my furs and gold back, I can go ahead with my igloo housing development with a TV set in every igloo. 
Thank you so much, Clutch Cargo and Spinner, for capturing Bird Giant. Oogaloogle. You're welcome, Snowshoe. Oogaloogle to you. Now I know what Oogaloogle means. It means anything you want it to mean. <laughs> Oogaloogle. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Arctic Bird Giant. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Friend Captain Low Tide, who once saved my life in big bad danger. His plans for giant igloo housing project with TV in every igloo have gone poof. His big ships are frozen solid in ice. Big mysterious bird giant after him. Sounds like the same bird giant I wrote about in my Arctic adventure book. This doesn't sound good. We'd better hurry. Not a moment to lose. Step on the driver. Clutch and company, anxious to help Snowshoe solve the Arctic mystery, arrive at the airport to begin their northern flight. Almost loaded, Spinner. All aboard. Mush! Quiet! Mush! Mush! Number 12, Clutch Cargo and Company's room. I'll get it, Spinner. Oh, why, why it's my old friend Snowshoe Sledney. Oogaloogle, Clutch Cargo. Oogaloogle to you, Snowshoe. Come on in. Spinner, I want you to meet Snowshoe Slednik and his dog, Snowball. You've heard me speak of them. Yeah, I've always wanted to meet you, Mr. Snowshoe. Do you really have days and nights that are six months long, Mr. Snowshoe? Oogaloogle. What does Oogaloogle mean, Mr. Snowshoe? Later, Spinner. What's all the excitement, Snowshoe? What brings you so far from the North Pole? Much, much trouble, Clutch Cargo. Our old... Pardon, everybody. But where's Mr. Snowshoe? He... He's disappeared. Uh-oh. And his dog's missing, too. It's Paddlefoot. He's... He's telling us something. Snowshoe, he's over this way. Follow Paddlefoot. He's got the scent. He knows where Snowshoe is. An ice cream truck. What are you stopping here for, Paddlefoot? We haven't got time. Yeah, time's a wasting, Paddlefoot. Snowshoe! And Snowball, what are you two doing in there? Too much excitement for Snowball and me. We crawl inside this igloo to cool off. If we're going to save Captain Lotide, we've got to get moving. Come on, fellas, back to the plane. Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Arctic Bird Giant. Our story opens at the Shady Rest Hotel, where Clutch and company have taken a room. And in room 12 of the Shady Rest Hotel, Clutch and company are busy writing another chapter in his logbook about their last adventure. This quiet hotel is made to order for writing, Spinner, after what we've been through. I'll say, Clutch, and Paddlefoot is almost rested up. <laughs> Gee, I hope all your igloos up north have ice cream cones like these, Mr. Snowshoe. Yum, yum. You fellas are going to get cooled off soon enough. Temperature dropping fast. Time to put on your Arctic clothes. Oh, very good joke on you, Clutch Cargo. Snowball and me never take ours off. We never take chances. Weather getting rough. Hang on to your hats. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Your plane worse than my sled on mountain peaks, Clutch Cargo. Hey, it's snowing. Oh, we got to mush ahead to save Captain Lotai. Engine's icing up. We've got to fly lower for warmer air. Clutch. Look! Look ahead! Iceberg! Iceberg!